In the centre of Cardiff, in a concert hidden from public view, Afghan refugees listened to the old songs of their new country. The building they're in is just yards from the Welsh Parliament, whose neighbouring avenue each morning forms a joyous, impromptu, echoing playground. These are the Afghan children of the earth, 68 in total, and with their parents in temporary accommodation, not in hotels, but all in a centre run by this Welsh youth organisation. Right now we are here and we are alive, thanks God, and that's the hard working and the effort that British did for us. We appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. The scheme, embraced by the Welsh Government, uses Home Office resettlement funds and replicating it for Ukrainian refugees in the future is now under discussion. Nazir is a former British Army interpreter, his eldest son Saleh, seven, Sahil, five. He's asked we don't show his face, fearing for his family's safety back in Afghanistan. What's the best thing about being here? بهترین چیز دوباره یه چی است مگه چی را خوش داری نیجا دیا؟ کالا چیزه درس؟ درس. سال سه سه بیتینگ و سال سه سه the lessons here you know we are learning yeah. بوریجا؟ بوریجا. شمای؟ شمای. شمای شمای. They are being taught Welsh as well as English. Their parents attend business seminars. They've been taken to rugby matches, football and cricket too. This multi-layered immersion in Welsh life documented to a rapturous reception. Oh, I feel delighted to see so many smiling faces and, and I think we, we have now become lifelong friends, I hope. How do you feel about moving on? Uh, our hope is that uh, to get settled well and uh, start a new life here a completely changed life, that, yeah. the life that we had back in Afghanistan. The life that Ma had back in Afghanistan involved work in women's rights. She and her brother were among thousands of Afghans airlifted out of Kabul by the British, fleeing the Taliban. What are you missing the most about Afghanistan at the moment? Uh, دا واضح خبره ده چه ارسو که اولویت فامیل داری زا خبال دا فامیل پس واقعا جیر خفه سوه چه ارسو اونو ویم بیم کمه ده فامیل پس دیگه سوه هم داغه ترسان گوشار خلق هر سا دا افغانستان هر سا خونده وردی هر سا میادیش پس دا شن هستا چه ویم چه زا شکر را غلیم او دا غل سایز خواتلیم او از من سنه پیادیش نه more per se, per Critics of the wider UK-Afghan resettlement scheme claim many are left for months in hotels, still traumatised and in need. Here in Cardiff, social engagement and activity is key, and in the office, it is gloriously chaotic. We wanted to offer these very vulnerable people an experience um, of life here in Wales for the first time, being positive, and the social element of that was very important to us. It's a memory that will stay with me forever, an experience that I have treasured. We still keep in touch with these people. I feel quite emotional to make sure that they are safeguarded and supported and happy here in Wales. All of those activities we filmed at the end of last year, before the world was about to witness events unravel in Ukraine, and the latest refugee crisis unfold. At the time, there'd been sensitivities about disclosing the location of so many Afghan refugee families. But now that they've all left here, we can finally broadcast this report. <laughs> the 110 who lived together here for nearly five months have been given homes across Wales, mostly. Nasir and his family are settling in Flintshire, Ma and her brother are only just leaving hotel accommodation. Problems such as finding homes have been a feature of the Afghan resettlement scheme. But this initiative, at no extra cost, we're told, to the Home Office, has caught the eye of officials. 
the imagination of others, and may yet feature in the story of how Wales reaches out to those fleeing war in Eastern Europe.